<laughs> What's good, King? What's the word, my brother? How you feeling, yeah. my guy? <laughs> well, let me. I, I drink water. <laughs> Grab that water, three right there. Mm. Toast. Are Toast, we live right now? We live. It's me and you. It's me and you, man. Wow. It's me and you, man. It's me and you, sir. Beautiful. Um, I don't know where to start. <laughs> A lot has transpired within the last twenty-four hours. Let's go ahead first. You put a tweet out there saying that basically you saluted John John. You call him a legend. Um, from what I'm how about, how about a congratulations on getting on television first? How about that? Three okay, let's start this one. My, my bad, boss man. We gotta let's start go with there. John John the Don. We that's that's where we gotta start. Okay, let's go ahead. battle rap, man. Absolutely. Listen, brother, listen, shout out to you if y'all live under the rock. My guy Frat is now all wild and out. Let's get to that right quick. Thank Absolutely. You, you. Let's, let's, let's go in first. How did we get there first? Let's get there. How did we? How did you get um the call and everything for all wild and out? How did it happen? Man, it was actually like some real finessing type shit. Like pretty much everyone who got on there has an agent or had some co co comedy industry connection. I just sent in a video. You know, I made a little compilation of my battles. I made, you know, I really edited it so clips of hitman and uh clips giving me props saying how much i killed soul con etc right, right, and right. then they hit me back mm -hmm. um like yo you got to come audition so I, I auditioned in la right and then the la audition was dope and then we had to audition again okay. in atl and then right, right after that the show started and that was like a year ago so basically i just been on NDA just holding this holding this while and out shit in for a year just okay. uh, waiting for it to drop but I'm really happy that it finally came out. Okay. So listen, when when do you start? When do you, when did when does when does your first season start for you? It started last week. Oh so it's last week started everything. Were you nervous at all? Um well we shot it a year ago, so okay, okay, yeah, I knew okay. I killed it. So okay. I, the only thing I was nervous about is how much are they gonna cut me out? Because mm. you know I came for Every wild style I came for conceited hitman, Justina, all the all the regulars, and you never right. know because they want to protect their image. So I was like, oh, but first episode, they kept all my bars in there. So I'm like, yeah. that's a good sign. Okay, okay, okay. All right, my brother. So let's go ahead. Hey, and by the way, three next episode with Sleazy World Go and Tammy Roman. Mm. Uh you know, I was throwing jabs at Hitman Conceited and Clips all season, and often they would look at me and then turn and diss someone else. And uh, Nick Cannon's manager eventually started talking shit like, hey, Frax getting at y'all. Y'all ain't responding. Like, what's happening? And Stop crying like you don't see what's going on, right? I got you. I got you, right? <laughs> and, that, and this was the episode where Clips was like, enough of this shit. And he responded. Mm -hmm. And me and Clips damn near had, like, they said it was one of the longest while and now freestyle battles. Like, me and Clips had like a four to five minute freestyle battle. Um, I don't think they'll be able to televise all of it, okay. but it went. It was really dope. So all the battle rap fans, Frack vs. Charlie Clips this Monday on VH1. That's gonna okay. be okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, sir, your last time you battled was what? Was it SoCon? A Ward. A Ward. Part of me, A Ward. Obviously, you won that battle, right? Um, <laughs> that goes without saying, respectfully. People, John John said something interesting yesterday. He said that you're not active enough and my retort to that was okay if that's true right or well, frack does come outside he does give us solid work and everything like that right um you know we don't look, i don't think we you look at yourself as a full-time battle rapper right can i say that yeah i mean i think a lot of battle rappers should be like taking notes to what i did you know okay. like i had okay. 10 battles and mm -hmm. you know the battle rap culture is apparently dying, which I always think is bullshit because it always finds its way to come back. But yeah. when that happens, it's been the best, the best moment of my career has happened. Mm -hmm. Like I got on Sway and did all this shit, got to do while and out. So I think, you know, I've only had 10 battles and I was able to, uh, you know, put in every time I pop out, put mm -hmm. in, put in like my best effort, immaculate work. And then, able to turn that into so many other things. I think all battle rappers should not look at it as a full-time job where you have mm -hmm. to battle every weekend, but instead um, pop out and, and use your talent. Because battle rap is the most uh, transferable talent. Like when I was on Wild and Out, I was like, holy shit, like I've been preparing for this my whole life and I didn't yeah. even realize that doing all these basement battles and all this shit is like comedic timing, mm -hmm. performing, you know, music, it just helps with everything. So that's that's my advice to all about all the battle rappers. 
and, and and let's be honest, you should want to branch out to other stuff, whether it's your let's be a lot of you guys did music first before you mm-hmm. came to battle rap, right? So mm-hmm. you know, I'm pretty sure battle rap has helped you guys out where you gain the audience now where they're willing to pay attention to other endeavors that you have going on, right? Yeah, absolutely. Music wilding out for you, stuff like that, right? Yeah, honestly, like my music career is probably doing better than it ever has right now. And I don't, I attribute, I think the whole myth that like battle rap fans don't support music, I think is actually starting to be reversed. I think some of my battle rap fans are my most loyal music fans and support me in everything I wow. do, you know? Okay. So, so, um, sir, people question if you were hip hop though. I don't know. I don't know. I feel uncomfortable having this conversation with you. <laughs> I really do. But I, that's, we're here now. We're here now. I love it. Saw John John yesterday. Let's get to it, Frank. He said a lot. In a he lot, did. Man. Shout out John John the Don yes. man. What a guy. What a guy. Um, I think he's hyping himself up for the battle. I love to see it. Okay. Um, I think the hip hop conversation is hilarious because, <laughs> because first of all, it's just a musty old head like incel conversation to be having. Like in my opinion, okay. it's like it's right. not hip hop, bro. Like you know, but. Right. What he said was interesting. He said he's not hip hop. He's telling stories. He's weaving stories. He's making a vision board, which I thought was funny. But he's telling stories of like, is storytelling not one of the most foundational parts of hip hop? Are we forgetting about Nas, Slick Rick? Uh, are we forgetting about people like MF Doom and Rock Ghostface, Ice Cube, Nas, Ghostface? Some of the best storytellers in yes, hip hop yes. history, and and it. And is that less hip hop than random bars and schemes? Like that's hip hop, but storytelling isn't. Wow. Like wow. that that made no sense to me. Okay. And then and then just if we're going down this hip hop road, it's like <laughs> I, I just I just have questions because a like what is he like? Obviously, John John's hip hop. He's a battle rapper. He's a business. Yeah. He's a yeah. league owner. Yeah. But like in terms of other way other ways hip-hop is presented like i don't think john john could go up to sway and do what i did like mm-hmm. I don't, john john doesn't have the streaming or buzz in his music career to go up to on the radar and do what i did up there i don't think like i think i think hit like even in uh our sincere cyphers like john john i think was like you know he did all right but like my sincere cypher made like a much bigger impact than his like you wow. know I mean? I, i'm just i'm just talking about like what what we're considering hip hop, you know, if we're going down okay. this road, and then also his style is like, it's dope, but it's just like, if we're talking cadence, lyricism, like, I feel like I get those attributes on him. He's like, he's a, he's tried he tried to say he tried to say it's jokes versus lyricism with me and him, right? He's like, I'm the lyricist uh-huh. and he's the joker, and right. I'm like, that's such a f-. like if we asked all the pens in battle rap, you know, if we mm-hmm. asked the Ill Mac, JC, Real Sick, Danny Myers, who's the better pen between me and John John? I think John John's got me in a lot of attributes. I'm humble enough to admit he's got me on performance, experience, even maybe even strategy, but lyricism, like Mr. Pustachios is a better lyricist than me. Like, <laughs> come on. Mr. Mr. John Claude the Van Dam. Like, <laughs> Where's bars, man? John John's a, a, an amazing battle rapper, but I don't think the lyricism pen conversation is the one he wants to have with me. Sir, you anointed him a legend, though. So how do you get legend if you, you need? Yeah, he's a legend. legend. You could you could be a legend with some really bad bars. Okay, okay. I think, okay, I absolutely. think his his impact in the culture is like I'm not gonna take that back because he said some mean things about me. Like he right, is right, a legend. Right, he's right. had some incredibly right. legendary performances, moments. Mm. It's an honor to battle him. But the framing of jokes versus lyricism is just, I think everyone could see through it. It's tight because back when I started battle rapping, I had to make these arguments for myself. But now I actually got enough fans and battle rap, battle rap knows me to the point where everyone's just saying this shit for me on Twitter. I don't even have to say it for myself. So, mm-hmm. No. All right. So he hit me on Twitter, right? And um, the song that you put out there is the song that you have out there. He's asking me is the hip hop, right? What's the name of that song right there? Because I've heard other songs from you where you actually rapping and stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, I make a lot of underground. Like, I just the song before that was was a song featuring the legend Del the Funky Homo Sapien. 
Um, West Coast Ice uh, Cube, is it Ice Cube's um related Ice Cube, right? Yeah, legend, legend, hieroglyphic legend. We, that just hit a hundred thousand on on Spotify too. But uh, placebo is a house song. That's me experimenting in other genres. And uh, mm. if he wants to be closed minded and say hip hop is only boom bap. Then no it's house music also. Ahead, house man. music that's playing hip hop also. Yes. House music, go go, all that is a tr is, has been in hip hop though. You know what I mean? I don't even have to say. So it. this is what I said to John. John, I said maybe not that particular song, but Frack has going to sway in the morning to rap at other songs in IG, right? His response was, "That's all it takes—a freestyle, a couple of songs on IG. You got it, bro." <laughs> yeah, he knows. He knows. He's just—he's just hyping himself up. Now, do you think? He, do you think he's hyping himself up though? Because. And is that a good thing, though? Is he hype, type, of, type of yourself, though, for this particular battle? Yeah. I mean, honestly, there was things he said in that interview that I was like, oh, he's right. Like, he's right about some of that stuff. Like, mm -hmm. like the number one thing he said that I was like, oh, he knows, is he was talking about me being scared. And it's not being scared of John John the Don, but he made the excellent point. He's like, I accepted this battle. And... To be honest, I kind of lost interest in the match. This is a I started calling him up. Uh, I'll call it called him out six years ago when I battled Bricks Belvy. Yes. To me, at that point, it was so far fledged. I would even battle him. It was just kind of like a bit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think John John's been locked in for this battle much longer than I have. Um, really? Wait a minute, Frank. Hold on, Frank. Time out. Time out, sir. Have you? It's not only the Bricks Belvy battle you called him out. Also, it's true. It's true. It's been other times you called him out, sir. Come on now. What we yeah, doing? I got to be honest, bro. I'm embarrassed because I did call him out. And here I am. Like, I'm blessed right now because I'm blessed because it's the best moment, I think, in my career as a rapper. Like, okay. everything that's happened this year with Wild and Out coming out, I'm really blessed to have new opportunities for my music. Uh, Wild and Out being pivoted into entertainment, mm -hmm. talking with agencies, becoming their right. acting, stuff like that. Like, all my dreams are coming true. And at the same time, my, my mental state is far away from battle rap. So I haven't, I've been calling this man out for six years and I have zero bars for him. And I'm like, oh my God, the, the, that interview yesterday kicked my ass. I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta lock in because he is more locked in than me right now. And I'm just in a place creatively where I was not very inspired by battle rap. So I think now these, these next couple of weeks is gonna be a big test for me. It's like, okay. I'm celebrating this while and now. I'm celebrating all these things happening in my career, but it's time to really pivot and lock in because I know John John's not playing with me. No, Frack. All right. Educate me, sir. You've been calling this man out for six years ago, right? And you said you haven't really been motivated. So let me ask you this. When you got the phone call, because this man told me, yes, he told me he picked you on yeah. the award. He picked, he picked me, period. Yeah. And he said, why would I pick a Ward right now when Frack beat a Ward 3? That's what he told me. Yeah, and you're telling me that a man who, who who you thought might not might not you you thought you might not have been here now now we're here, and you're not really laser focusing when, when you got the phone call. Well, to me, it's less. It's not about John John. Like obviously, it's a dream opponent, but it's more about my creativity. Like being being on Wild and Out has just opened my fan base to so much new possibilities that I just have been pivoting my creativity in whether it's skits or music, but um. It's unfortunate timing because that's where I, what I want to do. Like I have all this momentum and I just want to lock in on that. But right. um, I realize, you know what, John John's talking shit. I gotta prove, you know, that it's not just it's not just I'm going to TV and leaving Battle Rap and taking it easy. Like that's never gonna be me. Like I'm always gonna take Battle Rap really seriously. So just gotta I gotta lock in because John John sounded very locked in yesterday. But, so so let me go ahead with you. Is it more like now? You got to shrug off while and out to get back to get in battle mode. I think it's the other way around. It's like I got to while and out for a reason. Okay. And John John can say it's because I'm funny and I have jokes. But I actually think it's because, you know, if we're talking hip hop, it's because I can freestyle. It's because I've been freestyling mm -hmm. my whole career. Absolutely. Yeah. John John can't do. And, uh, <laughs> and it's something that. You know, I have to be proud of, and now I'm like, okay, if I'm really him, if I'm really like, I gotta prove to the battle rap culture, I still, I still got it because I haven't battled in a year since A Ward about. Mm. Rusty, are you worried about Rusty? Oh, Rusty? No, I'm at the top of my game. I'm always writing. Just 
uninspired, but but not anymore. Not after your interview yesterday. So thank you, three. I appreciate it. What, what were you? Or how did you feel? Where some people got you beating John John? I know. I was surprised. Uh, I was like, like quite a few people. The underdog of about media got people I speak to in the media about battles like about you and John John. Mm -hmm. Frank, there's some people behind the scenes. I don't know if they put out in public, but they telling me, yo, three, we got Frank beating John John. I think my underdog effect thing has worn out. It's like Diz, Danny, A Ward, you know, heavy underdog. Right. And then I prove people wrong. And now it's been so many times that they're no longer picking me as an underdog. So I got to live up to that. Mm. Now, Frank, I got to be honest. I was kind of, I'm kind of shocked you saying to me right now that you ain't laser focused because John John is, is this man is laser focused. I know, I love it. But hold on, Frank, he's been like this for a while now. Yeah. Just like easy to block Captain Bell. He has had good now. performances recently. Yeah, his last two joints, he, he, got, he got crazy. Yeah. You know, it's Frank, funny. I don't know if I got to be the John John, Frank. I don't know. I don't know. I don't you, know. Say? I don't you might know. have to go with John John. The, Listen, the way you coming off, you seem a little bit concerned, or you needed this, you needed John John's interview to yeah. ask a little bit. But don't worry, wake about up, it. wake don't up worry. the pen. To wake and, up and the I, pen. Can I say that? Yeah, and if you pick John John, I that helps me out. So please give me, <laughs> give me the hater fuel. But there were a couple things in that interview, man. Like, okay. I just don't know if he gets me, or I don't know if he's watched my battles because right. like the way he was talking is like. First of all, he says I only do jokes, which is like, I haven't written a joke in a battle. Like, you know my style, three. Yes, like, yes. it's funny. You got a dry sense of humor. You have a dry sense of humor. Like, John, John looks like this plus this. Like, there's no, it, it, it's all bars. It's all right. wordplay. It's punches. Mm -hmm. So there's no jokes. And then he also said that it's like, that I do the expose, like he thinks I'm going to expose. Like I've never done the exposing thing ever in a battle. I think that shit's cringeworthy. I don't right. come to battles. I only use information that's already out there. It's not a gossip, gossip thing for me. I think if anyone does the exposing thing, it's John John with his, you know, easy battle and other stuff like that. And then he tried to say that it's always for me. It's like the nerd versus the tough guy. Oh, they're rooting him on. <laughs> it's like that's something I've very intentionally strayed away from in my career. Like I've okay. never done the Sharon like smack killer shtick of like, oh look at me, I'm the white guy going against the tough guy. Like that's never been my. You never did. You never did. <laughs> I've always strayed. So so hearing John John talk about me, I was like, does he? I don't know. I feel like he doesn't really get it, and that made me even though he sounds locked in, that made me worried about his approach for him because I'm like, I don't even know if he knows what to do with me type shit, but. Wow, okay, I like this conversation. I like this, I like this right here, okay, okay. You feel that way, the way he's coming off that you, that's what you gathered from this conversation? I just think he thinks of me as like, oh, the white nerd coming in. So no. Like, it's just jokes with him, it's like, yeah. it's gonna be, I mean, I'm funny. I'm going to clown on him. But if he thinks this is just jokes coming his way, he's like completely not seeing the vision. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. No, what about the angles, though? He spoke about angles yesterday. You know, a lot of people saying that. You know, what? the most interesting thing I saw when this battle got announced is people were like angles versus angles. Mm. And there's it, a conversation. Were you expecting the culture to feel that way? No, not really. But I see it now. I see it now. I think John John has some well-known angles, like the right. Jack Boy thing and the uh, oh no, what else does John John have? I feel like he's a pretty well. He's known for doing some angles, right? Um, and I like that. I like that. I think for me, my style is always angles and rap, and Thank like that's know. why I was that's why I was funny because he was like saying I'm not a rapper, I'm not hip hop. Like he he's completely right about the vision board. Like he definitely like you definitely got you got that part right. right. Like that's like if we're having a battle off who's rapping, who's in more pockets, who's who's rhyming better, who's writing better. Like I think it's gonna be me every time. Every time. Yeah, I mean, I can't really think of. I think John John's like not a good pen. I think that's I feel I feel like that's most people would say that about him. Like he finds ways to win, but he's not a great writer, right? 
So educate me, because you're a rapper, you are, you're MC, you write bars. I am old head. I educate me in this. If we're saying that his pen is not up to snuff, maybe, right? That's things of that nature. How's he winning battles then? Strategy. I Strategy. mean, that's half the battle, bro. Half the battle. Okay. Like, and that's why that's why it's people talking about angles, and that's why people love my battles because it's both. It's like incredibly locked in writing that everything makes sense, every setup isn't forced, but it's also it's not random, it's attacking, you know what I mean? It's everything is impacting. Mm. Okay, so you don't respect this pen at all. Uh, you're just you're see, this is my favorite thing about you three. You're like, you're like, uh. You know what I was realizing listening to the John John interview is like you're like a battle rap marriage counselor. You know what I mean? Like you you you're trying to bring out the toxicity, but also <laughs> you're, 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 you also you're all, like when John John was dissing me for being hip hop, he's like, wait, 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 he's got music. You know what I mean? Hey, Ver, listen, hey, Ver, hit me. You you know you you have to rep for the other person, so it all sounds fair. You're like a real therapist for battle rap, man. That must be exhausting for you. <laughs> the most delusional people on earth just see that's what people talk about you your wittiness you see, you see what you did right there yeah John, John, you gotta be careful this camera, <laughs> you gotta be careful this brother man you know what i mean um yeah. is this the biggest battle of your career you think yeah okay i mean i've never been a main event you know mm. I, I think Disaster is a bigger battle rapper. I think Geechee is a yeah. little bigger okay. battle rapper. Danny Meyer is probably on the same tier. But I feel like this, the stakes and, you know, me being on TV, John John being a legend in battle rap, I feel like it's is a probably be my most most eyes on it, you know. Although mm -hmm. Aver battling A Ward a week after me definitely brought a lot of eyes to that one. <laughs> Did it though? Did it, did it really? The verb battle, right? Yeah, definitely. That that me and Award is very talked about at least that week. Mm. Okay. Um, also, you said that your style is not good for battle rap. Yeah, like originality is bad for battle rap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coming from one uh, of the one of the most unoriginal, you know what I'm saying? Battle rap, like. Like that's that's the thing, bro. Is like, whatever you want to say about my style, it's mm. different. It's mm. different, and it's not different. It's different while being wrapped well. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm cha I'm actually the one of the most hip hop things you could say is innovating. You know what I mean? Trying new styles, changing the format. That's what I do. You know what I mean? So to say that's not bad or rap is like okay. You it's like. A 90s boom bop head saying, I want hip hop to be this way. I want battle rap to be this way. Only punchlines and schemes and nothing yeah. different is like, no, it's about originality. So, mm. more professional than you? He said that? He's more, he says he's more professional than you. What does that mean? Like he gets there on time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just quoting the stuff this man said to you yesterday, sir. You know that's how you know you're just so whack is like be in his Beasley attributes. He's like professional, timely. The fuck? Uh, are you are you hyped now though? Are you hyped now? This battle's happening. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I feel like uh, I just haven't written that much for it, so that's why you don't hear me talk. Right. talk. Like I, I gotta, I gotta tap into my pen, but. Once I lock in, I mean, it's just there's so much to say about him and and mm. none, none of it exposing just all the stuff that everyone knows. But I feel like I could do it. I could do original stuff with all these angles and make to say something that people have never heard before. It's just so much creative potential. And I'm excited to dig in. OK, what do you think about his kid adopt battles that he's had in the past? Caustic, Kid Twist. Talk, Has he talk, won talk. any of them? All right, all right, so all right, all right. So let, let the Sharon battle. I had Sharon win. I, I definitely had Sharon win in that, win that battle. I had Sharon okay. win against John John. Um, I'm trying to remember the Kid Twist battle. I'm mean, watch it, of course. I feel like Kid Twist won that. Kid Twist won a battle. Yeah, and then Thesaurus for Thesaurus. sure. Man. That was a great Thesaurus performance. Mm -hmm. I feel like that was a good battle though, on mm -hmm. both sides. But yeah, I feel like honestly, 
it's tough to compare because I feel like he really wasn't a hundred percent in some of those battles. And I think for me, he's gonna come. Up. He's coming, Frack. He's coming. He's trying to act like Massachusetts is gonna be a biased crowd to me because okay. they're white people or something. Like that's <laughs> stupid. Like honestly, Big K and Tay Rock being the main event, like there might there there might be some people who don't know who I am in there, and some people who definitely know who John John fans are. So I think it's if anything, equal equal grounds. Mm. Six, so is there pressure on I don't want to use your pressure though, but because you've called them out and you you you're yeah. the one that orchestrated this battle, yeah. What is added pressure on you though? Yeah, I mean I put pressure on myself by doing okay. that. Right. And I also think because he's the one who accepted it and shows me now that I'm now that I have the cloud and I'm on TV and I'm succeeding, and now he chose me, you know what I mean? I feel like the pressure is also on him because he's like putting his legacy on the line a little bit uh so i think there's there's pressure for both of us wow you think he's put, you think he's put his legacy on the line i mean no nah. i mean it's he's taken so many losses and he's still fine so i don't think you know i don't think losing to me is going to be the nail in the coffin or anything whoa like whoa, whoa well, sir he said he, he said and i quote this battle cannot be debatable i cannot have a debatable oh god debate. he knows Who's that debatable yeah, I mean, one of us has had losses and debatables, and the other one hasn't, you know. <laughs> oh man, do you think do you think yesterday when he said that you know he questioned your hip hop top hip hop and a nerdy white guy, do you think that clip kind of backfired him a little bit? You think I don't want to say backfired, I feel like most people really disagreed with him and i think people understand my style a little better than he does they're like oh, like this he's like a lot of comments were like oh you mean like actually locking in and thinking and being creative your opponent yeah that's not hip hop but hip thinking is just not hip hop like you know like that's a lot of a lot of the comments were which i was like well, i don't got to say it y'all said it but you know i think it's a good narrative if he wants to keep it going mm. okay are you looking forward to Tay Rock and Big K? Oh, absolutely. Mm. Marvin Geechee. Yeah. You know what I mean? What else else? Um, we got oh, what am I missing? Uh Marvin. Chilla Jones versus Rex. Chilla Jones and Rex. A little different style of battle right there, I think. Mm -hmm. But you know, we'll see how, how how that pans out and everything, man. Dog, I hope you're ready, my boy. I hope you're ready. Don't be scared <laughs> for me, three. You know what happened. <laughs> You know what happens when I come on three letter. Have I ever lost a battle when I come on three letterman before and after? No, nah, you haven't though. Hey John, he has it though. It's it's this is this is part of the my guy. Man. I, I fuck with Frank. Frank, you know you my guy, man. But you know what <laughs> saying, though? I, I like Marv and Geechee, right? I do like the battle. Um, I like Chilla and Rex and also obviously I love Tay Rock and, and Big K. But I ain't gonna lie, when I when this got announced, I was like, oh shit, okay. I wasn't I never thought I'd see this happen. But I do know the backstories and everything like that. And John, John coming to the show, and then y'all exchange on social media. Are you surprised he's going at you hard on social media? Uh, a little bit. Uh, like, does it bother I, you? No, it doesn't bother me. I feel like me and him got to a place where we were hella cool. Like, so, but this yeah, always were y'all? Were y'all? Were you guys cool? Not, not like cool, like friends, but just like I saw him at the bullpen event. We were kicking it, but I feel like this often happens when people battle me like same thing happened with soul con is like he just mm. stopped running his mouth that he was going to destroy my career uh you know disaster absolutely went crazy so i think i think it's a tactic that people try and employ when battling me um and i'm excited to see if he keeps it if he keeps the the tweet train rolling up into the battle or if he goes dark and locks in on me you don't see are you going dark I'm never dark, man. I'm always outside. I got to promote all these episodes I'm going to be on and promote music and other things like that. But uh, I'll talk to John. John, that guy seems like he's not got a lot going on, so I'll entertain him. <laughs> Yo, that dress is a you, boy. <laughs> I'm not getting fooled by that, sir. You know, Frank, you know what this is. You know, this is massacre, my brother. This is boy. Yeah. Come on, man. Everybody watching two day event. Everybody's watching, sir. We all, you know what I mean? Absolutely, bro. You know what I mean? We shall talk after the battle, sir. I mean, come on. Every 
every time. Every trip, every trip, every trip, every trip. You know, every we time we do before and after, and Absolutely. it always feels it always feels great because sometimes you you choose against me, and it always feels good. <laughs> huh? That's what you thought. Three. I did thought I did think Danny's gonna kick your ass. I did think that. And a word. Yeah, A1. Yeah, I put A1 too. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, I did, Frank. I ain't gonna hold you. I thought I'm not mad at you, though, man. I'm not mad yeah. at you. And, and you came back and won both those battles. I ain't gonna hold you, man. I ain't gonna yeah. follow you. You know what I mean? But I, I do want to say shout out John John, though, because he's gonna be he's gonna be talking his shit. He'll, he'll probably come back on here and talk shit to me again. But mm-hmm. I do stand by him being a legend, and I feel definitely honored to to do this battle you know and solidify another big name so i appreciate even even though even though i'm talking shit and you know my career is kind of up and his is a little bit here he's still here you know he, he's <laughs> what do you mean he's right there sir what yeah, mean? i mean he's clearly plateaued but he's still plateauing at this level and i'm uh, i'm coming up to his level so it's sir, it's def- his last two battles was calico easy damn they won both them shits good point good point I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm trying to say something nice here, okay? So let me let me just let no. Me let's talk. Let's talk. The, the, the His Calico and Easy performances were very good, very good. And and I'm I'm a John John hater, so I I can admit they were very good. So he's definitely in a good pocket of his career. I'm just saying that even though he's been at a level in battle rap for a long time, and I'm kind of on an incline right now, I still wait, feel wait, like incline in battle rap or outside of battle rap. Both. I mean, you, 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 got, you got a higher trajectory than John John the Battle Rap? No, not yet. I'm saying he got towed up here and I'm coming at him. And I okay, think Wild right. Out is a great example because I'm battling every episode. You know, it's not just like I'm on TV and forgot about Battle Rap. If you watch the clip, I came at Hitman Conceited and Nori on my first episode. Uh, Next week, Meaver's Clips. I, I, and, and it's not just jokes, Jonathan. It's bars. You know what I mean? So. I'm keeping that going, but I, I say that all to say I still appreciate the shot he's giving me, and uh, I think it's going to be fun. Okay, so you admitting he's giving you a shot? Definitely. Wow. Okay. Definitely giving me a shot. So is it sweeter the fact that he's giving you a shot, and then you win the battle? Does it make it even make it even more sweeter if that happens? Yeah, but it's more pressure too. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> my boy Frank, we're gonna talk Frank Valley, Frank Hoffa. You know how we give it up, my brother. Peace and love, man. Shout out to my brother Frank 